Caspa, yes, Caspa is destroying the crypto market. It's on the verge of reaching a new all time high while the rest of the market, including Bitcoin, is on the brink of a collapse. Is this not remarkable? Does this not highlight to you why I assess my most bullish crypto? Price action aside, it's a billion market cap, right? Its fundamentals are so strong, fairly launched, a layer one that has solved the chart limbo. Have you ever asked yourself why it's being listed on all these exchanges despite no payment? That's the thing, guys. Proof of work is the true definition of decentralization. That is why we always see this comparison of proof of stake versus proof of work. Proof of stake has a team. They have a CEO, sometimes a CFO, uh, marketers, uh, different you know team members that usually make up the crypto, right? And the issue of proof of stake is they have an allocation. No shit. If they're starting a company for a crypto, they're going to have an allocation. They have to fund themselves, fund the ecosystem, fund their products, depending on what niche and matter the crypto is in, right? But Caspa, although it's a layer one trying to be a peer-to-peer -peer cash, there's no team behind it. It is just Jonathan Sopinleski, the most respected and experienced computer engineer. Yes, I said it. And just a few developers behind it. That's it. There's really no one that's marketing it. They don't have a CFO. There's no allocation to the team. You don't see Jonathan Sopinleski holding 80% waiting for cash put to hit five cents right now, which it might hit by the end of this video and then dump on you guys. Like you ever wonder why the tarp for Casper looks so bullish? This is why, because it was fairly launched. You cannot underestimate how significant that is from us, an investor standpoint, especially a retail investor standpoint. Guys, proof of stake cryptos, listen, I'm bullish on them. You know I hold a majority of proof of stake cryptos, right? But you can't be under a rock and say that you don't have the best opportunity right, right now in front of you, right? Caspa, I see it like the next coming of Ethereum when it comes to scalability and price action. Not to match Ethereum and be a $2,000 coin or a $4,000 coin or a $5,000 coin. I'm not saying it's going to get to that level. It's nowhere near as scarce as Ethereum when it comes to supply, so there's no chance of it even getting that high. But in terms of its market cap, Caspa can definitely reach it, catch it, and surpass it someday. Whether it happens this bull cycle or next, I think it's only a matter of time. Also, you guys know I'm very conservative, right? When it comes to price predictions. You guys know I don't like having the home alone faces and saying cash is going to be $100 tomorrow. But realistically speaking, even at $0.04, cents, $0.05, cents, cash book can hit $1 minimum this bull cycle. Which is only two years away from the actual potential distribution phase or the peak cycle when we can take profits. That's being conservative, right? Which is a 20, 25 X from here. I think Caspa can be anywhere from $1 to $5 this bull cycle. Yes, I really do believe Caspa. It's only a matter of time before it hits a 100 billion market cap. Now I know I'm gonna say some critics say, well, let's get the 10 billion first. Listen guys, I've been saying for months how bullish I am on Caspa and I got so many critics, so many haters, not all of you, the majority of you actually did your research and bought in and bought with me at the penny, you know, below penny and a half mark and all the way up. But the critics I noticed are going silent. They go silent all the time when this happens, right? I always tell you guys, I'm not here to debate you and say, hey, you're stupid, you're wrong, you're an idiot. I'm not here to convince you. I tell you cryptos I'm bullish on, I'm bearish on, I give you my feedback, my reasons why I believe certain things, and then I always tell you, in due time, it will walk the walk. I literally said that for Caspa, in due time, it will walk the walk. And right now, it's on the cusp of reaching a new all-time high in a bear market. Where have we seen this happen before? Quant, right? It didn't reach a new all-time high, but it ripped it. 6x in a bear market, right? $40, 227. I'm not saying cash is gonna hit you know, a 6x right now and go to like 25 cents. But man, this is a great sight to see. You have not seen nothing yet. If you're holding Casper, I hope this video hypes you up because we're going to make life-changing money this bull cycle. If you build your bag, and I'm not telling you guys to do this, I'm just saying from an investor standpoint, if you build your bag to 100K plus coins or Casper, in due time, I do believe you're going to make life-changing money. It might take some time. It probably won't happen in this bull cycle. But listen, Caspa has the potential of competing with Ethereum at some point. This is not a moon boy price prediction. This is not me trying to create FOMO. 
I told you guys in the past video, it's my most bullish crypto for a reason. We're starting to see Caspa's fundamentals come to the spotlight. I think it was Bitmart, Bitmart or BitGet just listed Caspa. I wouldn't be surprised if another exchange is about to list Caspa. I think this pump up could be a tier one exchange. Maybe it's Kraken. Maybe it's Crypto.com. Maybe it's Binance. Although I think it's too soon. A forewarning though, don't try to trade Caspa. It's like if you bought Ethereum at $50 or Bitcoin at $2,000, you know, way back when. You wouldn't trade those cryptos, right? So if you see Caspa like I do on the same tier level, potentially as Bitcoin and Ethereum, not in price action, you have to think really logically and hard before you even think about trading Caspa. Listen, I'm up a consolidated over 2x right now from, from my when I bought in. My average price is rock solid. My bag is heavy for me. I feel happy and confident in my Casper bag. But if you're feeling the FOMO right now, you're like, oh man, I gotta dump in. Just stay the course, guys. This is why I say DCA, because when you DCA, you essentially buy when it's down, you buy when it's rising up a little bit, and you buy when it consolidates. That is how you secure your bag, and that's how you set yourself up for the bull cycle. We still have a lot of time before we see real bullish price action. Casper right now, it could reach a new all-time high. Could it sustain though? Probably not. As bullish as I am, I don't want to just tell you guys it's going to 10 cents tomorrow. But listen, don't be surprised if a tier one exchange, another one, lists Caspa by the end of this year and we see it cross over to potentially eight cents. Caspa's fundamentals will speak for itself. And I know a common critic I'm seeing right now is there's no smart contracts, no developers. Give it time, guys. Good things take time. You have to be patient. You have to be patient as an investor. Do not buy any crypto and expect it to blow up the next day. The people who think like this are the traders who are gambling and are risking it all. And they oftentimes get wrecked before they even realize any meaningful profits. Also, let this be an example of why I tell you guys to be a logical investor. Don't be emotional and be hard headed with your conviction. Just because someone on here says your pick is stupid or it's a scam or you're an idiot or this one's better doesn't mean you got to jump ship because of that. A lot of people hate what they don't truly understand. And when you understand that most people get wrecked in this space, we all been there. I got wrecked too on Solana. I'm not perfect. But when you understand where most people's opinions come from, whether it's from FUD, whether it's from trying to manipulate you, or whether it's from being salty from getting wrecked or buying high and not buying low enough, you understand that most opinions are bullshit in this space. Like when I get uh, comments on Caspa of how this one's better, how Caspa won't go anywhere past four cents, five cents, or it's over, the run's over for Caspa, I just laugh. Sometimes I entertain it and I comment back and sometimes I just say, okay, buddy, we'll see what happens in due time. Remember though, you're not gonna stop those comments from happening. You're not gonna stop people from having a different opinion than you. Remember, we need them. We need people to dump on and take profits. If everybody was bullish on your crypto, it would just keep riding up. You would never see a dump. The reason we see dumps in any crypto is because believe it or not, someone is dumping while we're buying. And that's what we need to make a killing this bull cycle. If you're trying to change your life forever, you have to get your mind in check. It doesn't matter if you buy the perfect crypto on paper because if you don't have your emotions in check, if you don't have your conviction rock solid, if you're not confident about what you're holding, if you get shaken out by the whales, by the SEC, by another YouTuber, or by any FUD, you will sell the best investment you ever had no matter what. And listen, guys, I have a best friend who sold Bitcoin at a Forex 2000 to 8000 because he did not know what he was holding. Do you know what you're holding when it comes to Caspa? Listen, this is a generational opportunity for all of us as retail investors. It's very hard for us to make a lot of money because proof of stake cryptos, oftentimes you get the team richer first before we can appreciate profits and get that life changing money. We can make life changing money for proof of stake crypto, of course, but when it comes to a proof of work that is not even yet a billion market cap or is just getting close to it now, we really have a lot of potential to change our life forever, which is why I am not missing out on Caspa. And listen, before you say it's overpriced, before you say you missed it, I am still DCAing at the Caspa and I will be buying it again very soon. By the way, if you wanna reach out to me, 
talk to me, see your crypto I'm buying, selling, trading, run your portfolio, buy me, be in a position to take profits, change your life forever in just two years, and feel free to join my Patreon and Discord. I'll have it linked in the pinned comments down below. It would be awesome to see you there. But now I wanna hear from you. Do you think Caspa is going to reach a new all-time high during this bear market collapse? And which tier one exchange do you think is going to list in X? Drop your comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.